Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Hope you're doing great. In our math lessons this week, you are going to be introduced to a new shape and to a new number. Our shape for this week is the rectangle shape. And our number for this week is number three. We will begin our lessons with the rectangle shape. As you can see here, this is the rectangle shape. The rectangle shape is just like the square shape. It has four sides. The square has four sides also, but the square the sides of the square are all the same. They all have the same length. But in the rectangle shape, the sides are not the same. We have two sides that are long, and we have two sides that are short, as you can see in the picture here. So this is the rectangle shape. It has four sides. Two sides are long and two sides are short. Now let's take a look at the pictures that we have here. What's this? It can be a TV screen or it can be a computer screen. And it has a rectangle shape. Take a look at the box. This is the box. What shape does it have? It has a rectangle shape. Take a look at the book. The book has a rectangle shape. And look, two sides are short and two sides are long. Let's take a color, let's take a look at the colors here. The shape of the color is rectangle. Take a look at the suitcase. The shape of the suitcase is rectangle. This is a flag and it has a rectangle shape. Even the board that we have inside the classroom, it has a rectangle shape. And this is a cupboard. The cupboard of the shape of the cupboard, the cupboard is a rectangle. Now let's try to look how we draw the rectangle. We start from the top, a straight line to the right. Then we go a short line down, then a long line to the left, and a short line back up. So this is the way we draw the rectangle. And now let's move on to the number. What is our number for this week? It is number three. As you all can see here, this is number three. Now let's take a look at the pictures and let's count the objects in each picture. Here we have apples. Let's count the apples. One, two, three. So we have three apples. Let's take a look at the bananas. How many bananas do we have? Let's count them. One, two, three. So we have three bananas. Take a look at the balloons. How many balloons do we have? Three. One, two, three. Now let's take a look how to write number three. Here is the dot. We always start from the dot. Around the tree, 
and around the tree. This is the way we make a three. So this is the right formation for number three.